I can only choose 10. <laughs> okay. That is not my cat. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Morgan from Olive Branch Cottage. If you're not new here, that is still my name. I have over 40 different types of house plants, but I did it. I've compiled the list and I'm ready to share my top 10 favorite. Hey, but I think I have found my top 10 favorites that I like to decorate my house with. Let's get into it. That's a loaf of bread on the bed. She loves houseplants, but can't have them because they'll make her sick. Da -na 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 -na. This list isn't in any particular order, but we will start with the big, the bold, the beautiful Monstera Deliciosa. This plant makes a huge statement because it is massive. If you have an empty or awkward corner that you don't know what to do with, this plant will be for you. Keep in mind that when I'm massive, y'all, this one leaf is 15 by 14 inches and it grows dozens of leaves. This big boy has his own personal humidifier. As the Monstera grows, it usually needs additional support. Mine has a support trellis and these ties because the weight of it is just so heavy. So that's something to keep in mind. Absolute peak comedy is a gnome and a kitten sharing a hot dog date in a Monstera. I got this Monstera at the farmer's market. And if you go back and watch my intro, I filmed that a couple days ago. And since then, it already has this new leaf. They grow extremely fast. So that's another tip is if you're not wanting to spend a whole lot of money on a plant, buy it a little bit smaller. It's always gonna be cheaper if you buy it smaller and you will get the fun of watching it grow. Up next is the pantry staple of the plant world, the pothos. This one is a golden, but there are dozens of varieties, dozens of colors, so you can find a way to fit it in with any decor style. And as a bonus, they are fairly easy to take care of and don't require quite as much light as other plants. I planted this one in an old light fixture and it's called an Enjoy Pothos, hysterical name. And then my favorite pothos of all is next. It is the Queen Marble. It is hands down my favorite because of the long, beautiful trailing vines. I am training mine to grow up along the contours of a wall arch that I have painted behind my TV. What I do is whenever a new leaf pops up, I just veer it back on course by sticking a command hook on the wall. Okay, what in the world? Who is that? That is not my cat. Third on my list of my favorite plants to decorate with is the Nerve Plant. This one's a little bit smaller for those of you who don't like or can't fit bigger plants into your space. And what I love about this one that draws me to it is the detailing that's on the leaves. It's called a Nerve Plant because it looks like veins or like a little nervous system on each leaf. And actually the leaves are textured as well. I get the question a lot. Why do you like houseplants? They don't do anything. Well, this one does do something. It's called a false shamrock, and every night it, quote, goes to bed. This is what the leaves look like during the daytime when the sun is shining on it. They look like little open clovers, and then at night, or as the sun starts to set, they actually close up, and you can watch it happening in real time. So I like to decorate with this plant in an area where I'm gonna see it a lot, because it's kind of fun. It's like you're actually interacting with it. Plant number five that I like to decorate with is the Schefflera, or something that's a little easier to say is the umbrella plant. You can grow this larger to fill your space, or you can also grow it as a bonsai where you cut it back and it will stay small. I fibbed. I said this list wasn't in any particular order, but this one should have been first because it's first in my heart. The Chinese money plant. I just love the round leaves. I think they are so unique. This is my baby right here. I'm gonna insert a photo right here of the day that I brought this little cutie home. And that was less than a year ago. The next gorgeous plant on our agenda today is the ever beautiful and luscious Baby Tears plant. This one is named Brian May because it looks like Brian May. 
but there is no way I could make a video about decorating with plants without mentioning my favorite plant accessory of all time, these hanging acrylic shelves. They are clear acrylic shelves that hang on these really strong wires and they're dirty, ew. I will link them in the description box. These are the largest ones that come with three shelves and you get to position them yourself. So if you have small plants, you can make the shelves smaller. If you have tall ones, you can make them taller. And they are supposed to hang on window trim. As you can see, maybe it won't focus. We don't have trim, so it also comes with a little kit that acts like trim. Trim, 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 trim. Let's just say it a couple more times. I have them hanging on this side of the TV too, as well as in my bedroom. Okay, back to the baby tears. The Pilea Depressa or baby tears is super versatile. You can either keep it in just a regular old flower pot, or if you like terrariums, you can put them in there because they love humidity. My favorite way to decorate with them is to have the long, beautiful trailing leaves or the tears part of the plant hanging off a piece of furniture or off a shelf. Plant number eight is a tetrasperma. I actually got one of these six months ago in the hopes of decorating my walls with it. It is a great climbing plant. Mine is not quite there yet though, so please enjoy my inspo pics from Pinterest. My tetrasperma has a ways to go, but don't we all? The goal is to grow her up and around the arch, just like I'm doing with the queen marble on the other side, and I hope that the two can meet at the top. Yes, tetraspermas are great climbing plants. And mine actually has a little climber of her own. It's a raccoon. <laughs> I got that on Etsy. I'll link the shop down in the description bar. Number nine is the Piccolo Banda Peperomia. And one of the reasons I love it is because the leaves look like little watermelons. This plant can fit into just about any decor scape because it stays pretty small, pretty compact like this. So it's great for putting on top of a stack of books in a cabinet full of presidential memorabilia. Next up, I have the Chinese evergreen and it is on the list because it's pink. So as previously stated, it is pink. There are green varieties of this plant as well. This one's huge. Can you tell? There's my hand for scale. This one's called a wintry wine house. The other one definitely made it onto the list because it's pink. Once again, it is pink. That is all 10. I hope this list was helpful for you if you are looking for plants to add to your own collection. And in conclusion, you watched the video, you heard what I said.